वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट ऑपरेशन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इज द ड्रिलिंग ऑपरेशन सो इन ड्रिलिंग वी आर हैविंग दिस ट्विस्ट ड्रिल विद द पॉइंट एंगल और लिप एंगल से टू बीटा व्हिच इज बीटा बीटा द डायमीटर ऑफ द ड्रिल इज डी and the rpm of the drill is n okay so this is the workpiece where in which we are going to produce a drill up to the entire thickness this is the thickness of the workpiece okay and of course for every one revolution the advancement of this drill into this workpiece will be having f that is f2 is nothing but feed in mm per revolution okay and drill is having what the helix angles we know that we have seen in the oblique to orthogonal cutting so this is the helix angle alpha h which is minimum at center and it goes on increasing towards the periphery actually in this conical portion ah so it is go on increasing so why it is so so why it is minimum at the center this alpha h helix angle is minimum at center and increasing towards increasing towards periphery so when it is minimum at center you guess it gives the required strength for this drill okay and when it goes on increasing towards the periphery so it can gives the way for the sar so for cheap okay so we cheap whatever the chips you know that in drilling operation through the drill only chips are going to come out so it gives the passage for the chips okay so that's why it goes on increasing towards the periphery so the next why it is increasing towards periphery so easy removal of the chips okay this point angle to beta generally we know that it is value is 118 degree for the hard materials and for the soft very soft materials can be 45 degree to 60 degree also okay so this is the point angle or lip angle the maximum value of helix angle we can have in the drill is 60 degree please remember kitna ho sakta hai maximum 63 degree tak helix angle ho sakta hai and if i talk about the radial rake angle so rake angle is always changing with the changing the position you can have the value of rake angle at any position so at any radial position from or on to this lip so suppose i want to measure rake angle here i can measure i if i want to measure rake angle here i can measure so generally kya hota hai ye distance kahan pe measure karte at this radius by okay or generally it is d by 4 at that point we are measuring this rake angle how to measure you know the formula that is alpha b is equal to tan inverse of that is 2 r by d into tan of alpha h divided by sin of angle beta okay so please remember rake angle is depend upon what the helix angle okay and 2r by d we in simplify manner what we can write because r is d by 4 this diameter by 4 general location of the measuring the rake angle on the drill so it can be tan inverse of half tan of helix angle divided by sin of this half the point angle beta is the half the point angle okay so this is about the helix and rake angle in the drilling operation now see here we are interested to calculate the machining time okay so drilling operation mein apne ko kya karna hai machining time calculate karna hai so let us see the basic uh lens that we are going to consider so see if this drill the tip of the drill is present on this workpiece here so no any approach isn't it but see here i am showing the approach here ap is the approach and when the point angle is given in the question or in the drill this point angle 2 beta value is given so definitely this 
this conical portion that we are having okay this length this is the compulsory approach and it is indicated by ap1 i am saying that this is ap1 is a compulsory approach because see to get the throughout drill throughout drill this conical portion or tip of this conical uh, tip of the drill that is conical portion should come out then and then only this entire thickness of the plate will get drilled isn't it so this is the compulsory approach either you consider here or you can consider it here and in addition to that if the tool is having some over travel suppose tool is again this grinding grind uh, sorry this drill bit is coming at this position so this value now nothing but what this value this value this value already we have considered here that is approach one so this value for this drill is what over travel isn't it and you know and see n is the rpm of the drill how to uh, get this value of n from the cutting speed that is pi d n by thousand where n is equal to thousand times vc divided by pi d and d is what d is the diameter of drill diameter of drill okay and what is the total length l we required because you know the formula for the time is what l divided by f2 into l so what is total length l here so they see this is ap1 compulsory approach plus if this approach is given ap plus the thickness of the plate t plus and if over travel is given then you can have the over travel see these are the optional things these are the optional things and when this sine beta is given or sorry beta is given definitely you can find this value ap1 how to find this ap1 see now i will draw this conical portion here for this drill tip we know that this is beta then this will be what d by 2 isn't it so we want this value this is our ap1 okay so what is tan of beta is nothing but d by 2 divided by ap1 or ap1 is what d by 2 tan beta like that and you know the beta value it is given to you don't worry you can find the compulsory approach in the drilling operation okay now everything is with us so go on calculation that is time is equal to what this capital l divided by f2 into n which will be in minutes so this is the drilling time this is the drilling time okay so very simple compulsory approach this is the approach if given through hole you will get the entire thickness drilled over travel given then add to this capital l divided by feed that is given that will be given to you and rpm of the drill or cutting speed is given to you you require this value of n so this is how we can get the machining time for the drilling operation okay so after see drilling operation we are having the boring operation so what is meant by boring so it is nothing but the internal turning operation where the enlargement of produced hole of produced hole is done okay so boring is nothing but the internal turning operation where the already drilled hole or bore is get enlarged in this operation so this is the boring operation okay then we are having the rimming operation rimming operation so in rimming operation we are using the rimmers okay that is rimmers having the straight flutes okay and they are even number and we know why they are even number because to balance the cutting forces there are even number of fluids we are having on the drill bit also or on the rimmer also 
okay so the rimming process is basically or rimming operation is basically done for the sizing and finishing of the hole finishing of the produced hole so of course the material removal is very less or small material removal okay so rimming is basically the finishing operation uh, which will finish the build hole okay by using the rimmer rimmer is having straight fluids and they are even in number to balance the cutting forces okay so after rimming we are having the honing process or honing operation of course the honing is uh, super finishing uh, operation it is super finishing super finishing process or operation okay so if you know the very popular example of this what the cylinder of ic engine is undergoing this honing operation to get the excellent surface finish okay so honing basically done with the honing sticks or honing stones sticks or stones okay say suppose this is our cylinder and this is the bore of the cylinder so there is a these are the honing sticks so it is rotating as well as it is having the reciprocating action okay so this is this is nothing but what this is these are the honing sticks we are using here okay like the abrasives in the grinding operation same abrasive but in the form of sticks so very fine material removal rate we are having an excellent surface finish we get by using this honing process okay next process we are having so trepanning is the process what it is the process of making the hole by using the trepanning tool that is see if you look at the shop floor so available drill bit size we are having with is uh, with us is basically from say up to 50 mm okay so beyond 50 mm if you want to produce the hole size then we are going for this trepanning tool it will look like this and it is rotating okay and this is the work piece so we are going to get this hole so here directly this disc will come out from this plate okay and you will get the hole here so this is the trepanning tool so more than 50 mm or large size uh, uh holes if you want to produce then this trepanning tool is used sometimes this tool is quite eccentric also then it is known as the eccentric trepanning okay so again we for very large holes so you are getting like this and it is rotating so it is more removing the material in the form of say discs okay so this is trepanning this is eccentric trepanning large size holes okay then we are having counter boring operation it is nothing but the enlarging the hole from the one end of okay so this is the produced hole so what is counter boring the enlargement of the hole at one end okay so this is the counter boring okay then we are having counter sinking then it is known as this is the enlargement at one end enlargement of hole at one end 
and here the conical enlargement conical enlargement of the hole at one end so we can have like this if this is the produced hole then you are having this conical enlargement here so this is known as a counter sinking okay then we are having spot facing so whenever you produce a drill or hole by using drill so there are some burrs or some small fragments of chips which has produced on the face of the the produced hole so in spot facing what we are going to do we are making this face very clean or perfect square for sitting of what the head of the nut okay on to that so that the proper sitting of the uh, bolt is there so that is why this spot facing is nothing but what making the face of the drilled hole making perfect square of the produced face of the hole okay so any burr or any microchips which are present it will get cleaned that is known as the spot facing so these are the uh, various operations which are which are related in the drilling operation okay thank you